The 2002 Ryder Cup at the Belfry ushered in a new chapter for the biennial event, an era of European dominance. The Europeans were hungry to wrestle the cup back from Captain Curtis Strange's United States team, and the competition over the first two days was spirited. The advantage swung from one side to the other, finally with the Americans drawing even in the Saturday four ball, deadlocking the matches at 8-8, entering the Sunday single. And that's where European captain Sam Torrance's strategy worked to perfection. Front-loading his stalwart performers at the beginning of the day, Torrance's squad snatched four and a half points out of the first five matches and seized the momentum. The back of Strange's lineup faltered as well, as little-known rookie Philip Price was beating Phil Mickelson in decisive fashion. But he's got the line, and he's made a birdie, and Philip Price puts the pressure on Phil Mickelson. It would take miracle shots, like Paul Azinger's out of the bunker at 18, just to keep the Americans in the match. Isn't that unbelievable? Isn't that unbelievable? But it turned out that Azinger's heroics simply delayed the inevitable, as European rookie Paul McGinley gave his team the half point they needed to reclaim the Ryder Cup. The 18th green at the Belfry witnessed yet another European celebration this time three years in the making. 